Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes you to museums and historic places. Next, we take you inside the U.S. Capitol to learn about the history of the House of Representatives PAGE program. The program began in the early 1800s and continued up until 2011, when, due to technological and staff changes, House leadership decided that pages were no longer critical to the legislative process, and the program was ended. I'm Matt Wisniewski. I'm the historian of the House of Representatives. And I'm Farah Elliott. I'm the curator of the House of Representatives, and we're here in a historic space. It's the Speaker's Ceremonial Office. It's one of the oldest parts of the Capitol's House Wing. We call it the New House Wing, but it was really built in 1857. And this spot is an ideal place to talk about historic uh, events in the Capitol and the broad sweep of history and the artifacts that we have here in the collection that Matt and I work with and interpret all the time. So today we want to tell you a little bit about the history of the House Page Program, which is, uh, a, a, has a history going back to the early 1800s. Um, we don't actually know when the first pages served in the House. The tradition of having messengers, and a page is, is simply a messenger, an errand runner. Uh, in U.S. legislative practice, it usually has involved, at least in the U.S. Congress, uh, young boys between age 8 and age 16 in the 19th century who would run all kinds of errands for members of Congress on the floor, uh, rounding up members, things of that nature. One of the things that's really interesting about uh, the visual history of pages is that there's such a part of the legislative process that they don't really get noticed in terms of um, paintings and prints until a little bit later, until you start seeing illustrated journals like Harper's and Leslie's Illustrated News. And at some point, it's not till the 1850s and early 1860s that they start showing up as part of the engravings. Um, in fact, uh, one of my favorite parts about that is they're kind of um, used by the illustrators as a commentary on what's going on right then in the rest of it, in the rest of it, uh, the image. Because the images are often, they're of the chamber, it's a big space with a lot going on, and there's an accompanying story that's going to tell you all the details of what's being discussed on the floor and why that image is there. But an illustrator wants a quick way to telegraph what you're supposed to think and how you're supposed to put yourself in that image. And they'll use pages to do that. Um, for example, we have an 1861 London Illustrated News print. And the article is talking about how fractious uh, the chamber is. And there are several folks in here um, yelling to be heard, trying to, to make their point. And right in the front, there's a little page, and he's looking towards where some of the yelling is going on. And he is silhouetted, and one of the things that he is there for is so that we know, oh, consternation and confusion as to why this is happening is part of what's going on here. This isn't regular. According, it probably, it might well be regular, but according to the London Illustrated News, this is unusual because it is unlike what they're used to. One of the commonalities that in oral history interviews or in memoirs that we've researched or even in news articles uh, where individuals look back on their page service, they really do, they saw it as a highlight uh, of their youth. In retrospect, certainly that whole experience that summer changed my life. I mean, it just changed the way I looked at uh, the world and politics, certainly our government. Well, I remember I was around for the, the Voting Rights Act in 65, I think Medicare also. I felt those kinds of, of things, the legislation, was more historic and certainly more important than anything about my appointment. Uh, we know of uh, roughly two dozen individuals uh, who would serve in the House or the Senate who had been, as, uh, been pages um, as, uh, as teenagers. Uh, but it, it was an experience that, uh, um, again, gave them uh, a human perspective on the way that Congress worked uh, and an appreciation for the legislative process that you just couldn't pick up from a book.